the Vincent University Multicultural Office, along with his student organizations, have come together to try to provide items to those that are less fortunate. We hope others will follow our lead and help us. Only the crack. Mm. But as you can see, I got it lined up pretty good. I'm gonna end up tapping this in, putting this up here. They brought a steel door. I got I got deadbolt box. How that. long How long did it take you to build? Oh, this was a, probably three months. See, we had we had it partially built and then burnt to the ground. You know, Hazelwood Christian Church uh, out in Monrovia. It's about 20 miles on the other side of Monrovia. But uh, they came out and put this the structural roof on it. And then another guy brought. Tyvek and the shingles, and I, my brother put the Tyvek on, and I did the roof. Okay. But, uh, it's, it's just one room. It's a 12 by 12. Okay. But, but we're building. We're getting ready to build bunk beds in there. And, uh, we got to build a cabinet and hold dishes and stuff like that. I mean, it's, it's a little disarray right now. I'm still trying to stay cool. We have. Well, hey, I appreciate that. And do you know any other? locations or other people. Have you been over to Burn yet? No, not yet. Okay, you go over the bridge, make a right, and then another right, just go on down the way a little bit, just look on your right, you'll see them, they're, they're tents, little stuff. Yep, go.
Lord, Lord, thank you for this moment. Lord, I ask that you bless these gentlemen and I ask that you have favor upon their lives as you touch them and you meet their needs, whatever it is that, that they need, Lord God. And I ask that you just continue to keep us, bless us, and let us do your will. In Jesus' name, amen. 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 I'm a veteran. I've, I've, I've been at her eight years for how this is done. These young kids that are coming in now, I kind of teach them and coach them and hope that they listen to me. Some do, some don't. About 20. I'm the one at three o'clock in the morning is walking around out here making sure everything's okay. No matter how cold it is, no matter how what it is, I'm, I'm the one checking on things all the time. Because I've got cop buddies. We're all addicts. I don't do drugs, bro. I, don't, I haven't done drugs since I was 31. I'm 59 now. I don't do drugs. Mm -hmm. But oh, we're all drug addicts. No, we're not. Some of these people out here are going to college. Hmm. Yeah. Hmm. Going down here to Harrison College. But they live out here because they don't have enough money to do anything else. We need jobs. How about the city cuts out community service? You give a guy eight hours uh, a day for ten days of community service. Why don't you just eliminate that and give him the one day in jail and make a job out of it for somebody? Know what I mean? No, because they're getting free labor. Slave labor is what they're getting off of community service. Hmm. Yeah. Oh, you can do one day in jail or you can do this much community service. No, put them in jail for a day. Big deal. They eat two bologna sandwiches and go home. Make the job they were going to do for a whole week a job for someone that actually makes money at it. Um, there, there's a lot of things that could be done, but no one, no one's going to do anything. Trust me, trust me, no one's going to do it.